Well, everyone, you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and add your credit card or any card to your Google wallet. Now, doing this is actually a very basic process. The very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the Google wallet application. So find the wallet application. It's on your Android phone. It should be an application that looks like this. Now, what you're going to want to do is you want to go and open up that application. Now, when you first open it up, you're going to see any existing cards or any existing stuff that you have within this, you know, application in the first place. But what we're going to want to do is we want to keep our eye out for at the bottom or right. There's a little option right here or a little thing that says add to wallet. So all we're going to want to do is we want to tap onto that add to wallet button that comes up right there. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to have the option of basically adding whatever card that we have that we want to add. So there are a lot of options here. We can add a payment card, a transit pass, a loyalty card, gift card, ID card, or everything else. So this is something that's really, really cool because you can choose whichever option you have. If you have a credit card or Google Pay or whatever else, you can tap on this payment card option right here and you can go through and add your credit card or add any card by going through and scanning a photo of this card right in front of it. Or what you can do is enter the details manually right here, which will include your credit card number, expiration date, security code, your name, street address, those things. If you don't want to use any of those, you can also do a transit pass, so you can choose whatever transit you know thing that you want to do. So you can also use this just like this. You can also add a loyalty card. So if you have a credit card or loyalty card, whatever you have, you can add those there. You can also go through and do the same thing with ID cards or with your gift cards or everything else. So you have that option of kind of configuring it there. And then finally, it's going to be added, and that's all you're really going to have to do. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.